All right, here's part three of our series on adding the new Facebook pixel to your website. In the last couple of videos, we talked about adding the new Facebook pixel and adding custom conversions. In this one, I'll show you how to add standard events on those special pages of your website that you want to track and optimize for your next ad campaign. So for example, if you have an offer or a lead magnet on your website, you'd want to place that standard event code on the thank you page. You'll then be able to track those conversions in Facebook, segment that audience, and retarget future ads to anyone who visits this thank you page. Okay, let's go to step one. A great place to start is by using the lead standard event for tracking thank you page signups. Here's the page on Facebook that shows you all of the standard event codes. You have a lot of choices, especially for e-commerce or digital product websites. One option is even adding different parameters, such as purchase value or currency. The, what we're going to be doing, and typically what we start with with uh, our clients, is the lead conversion or the lead standard event, though. And so what we're going to want to do is pull this code. So I'm going to copy this actually directly from the page. I'm going to go right to okay. step two. Now that we have our lead standard event copied, you're going to want to go to your thank you page, which should already have your Facebook base code from part one of the video series in place. So I'm going to go back to our site, I'm going to look for our landing page, and then I'm going to actually go to our thank you page for that sequence. So here's that thank you page, and then I'm going to click edit page here, and that's going to take me to the back end of HubSpot. Here I'm going to hit edit head HTML. And this is our base code. Again, we haven't added the standard event yet, but you're going to want to place it, the, the new code that you just copied, right before the end of this script tag. So you're going to want to go here, put your cursor, hit return, and then paste that new Facebook track lead code. And then in this case, we're going to hit save. And make sure we update that page so it's live. Otherwise, that Facebook pixel isn't going to uh, fire if we don't actually publish that page. You also want to place the code only on pages that correspond to the event you're tracking. So in this case, we're only tracking lead conversions. So we only added the code to the thank you page and not the landing page. So we did not put that tracking uh, standard event on this page at all. All right, the final step. So let's make sure your standard events work. I'm going to open up my Chrome browser, and I'm going to use the Facebook Pixel Helper that I mentioned in part one of the video series as well. It'll show us whether or not the pixel is verified and firing, and that you've used the right standard event as you check your website. So I'm going to go up to that Chrome plugin here, and then I'm going to click on it. And it's going to show that the, pi the pixel loaded successfully, and it also, so that's the page view right there, the event ID, but it also, right below it, it shows that the event ID for lead is firing successfully. So that's great. So that's what we want to see. So another way to test your event is if you're tracking leads from your site is knowing that someone downloaded an offer or you can download that offer and then look for that record of that lead conversion in the ads manager. So you can go to ads manager, go to Facebook pixel right here, and then make sure you select this button right here, the events. And you can see that you have page view and leads and that lead pixel or that lead standard event that we just added is working. All right, that's it. If you've gone through all three videos in the series, you should have your Facebook pixel installed and you should be ready to start tracking conversions and audiences for your next ad campaign.